Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download a browser called Opera. Now technically, as you see, I currently have a browser called Firefox and Google Chrome, and there's Edge, and there's technically the new Edge that Chromium base that's coming out like that, and there's IE. But let's say if you're a fan that doesn't like any of those systems, and you're looking for a different one to be different, well, I'll be showing you how to download Opera. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first thing is go ahead and open up a browser to download another browser, kind of funny. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and go to google.com. I don't want to be sure if I'm mistyping this, so I'm going to go ahead and type in Opera. And I'm going to go ahead and type in Browser 2. And it takes us to opera.com, so technically that's all you have to type in is just opera.com and here we are and as it tells us about the site that it's pretty much browsed the way what you want and you can click the file and it says download now it's free so we're going to go ahead and click it and let the file go ahead and finish downloading so the file has completed downloading so I'm going to go ahead and click the file and open it and here's the installation coming up I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser Technically, again, if you don't see it there, you can also go to Downloads. We have different versions from Windows, Mac, Linux, also just letting you know. And also, technically, based on your browser and operating system, it should automatically kind of just convert already that you're going to download the file. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and exit this browser, and here is the installation. It has an option right here that says Options. I guess you can choose what language to install for and what path, and you want to be sure if you want make Opera your default browser, I'm actually going to uncheck that. And if you want to help and improve by sending features and usage information, I'm actually going to uncheck that. Now, if you don't care, you can just press installation. But again, I'm going to choose options and uncheck them. And go ahead and press install. Now, it tells if you want to install for a current user or if you want it to be installed on all users. I'm only going to do it for my user only because this is the only user that I currently have on here. So let's go ahead and just press install. Right now it's currently extracting this file and let's see if it starts doing the installation for its current user. And here it is. This is the Opera browser. It looks a lot a little different. The site came up, welcome to Opera, and tells you the Instagram sidebar. You can enable all these things, your Instagram sidebar, your messenger sidebar, your bookmarks, your sidebar setup manual, dark and light. You can probably convert it right here. Look at that. Um, you can put ad blocker if you want to enable that. So let's just toss that in there. You can put a VPN. That's probably reads more about it. You want to put search in tabs if you want to search through there. You don't have to. You can probably enable your bookmarks if you want them to import them from other browsers. So if you had Chrome or Edge or Internet Explorer. You can install the Instagram sidebar if you want to sign in for that. You don't need to if you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and just X that out. And it's forcing me on this, so let me see if I can just kill that file. Well, regardless, I'm going to slide it out for right now. And you can enable messengers. Here's the little add-ons that would be selected. And that's pretty much it. So now the file's here. You can also can search and run through Google. I'm going to type in, like, Facebook and see what comes up if it searches through it. And we have a thing pretty much set for it. There's probably additional features that you can customize. Set up your own wallpapers. You want to put the dark mode if you want to. You can put your appearance. Downloads where he wants to go to. There's ad blocks you want to. And there's probably a lot more. But this is just pretty much the installation. If you want to look into more details, you can probably just search it up. And find out what other things you can do inside this browser. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.